जाने वाले अपने निर्धारित समय पंद्रह Which was created to try keep tourists from getting ripped off, because tourists don't understand when they come to India that everybody is trying to rip them off. All right. So now, for the bargain price of twenty-seven dollars, we have just brought bought two tickets across India. The train journey takes about almost three days, about two and a half days, and it costs thirty dollars a person. Bought. Huh? Bought. Bought. Purchased. Purchased. Some odd hours, and we look old. my back is killing. Me. Just now getting into Mumbai. Well, we're in Mumbai, but we're not at the train station that we're supposed to be at. We're waiting for the train to arrive, and so far we've already been asked by what? five beggars. Five well. Actually, I wouldn't qualify them all as beggars. Some of them wore the shiner shoes okay. and their pair of shoes, so I wouldn't. I'd say they're trying to do some kind of work. Which one is the number? Fifty-seven. Fifty-seven and fifty-nine. So upper and lower. It's interesting though seeing the countryside from the standpoint of the train. You really get the sense that the country is different. secondary here and soap is non-existent. We've gone through about yay much hand sanitizer. Yeah. Uh -huh. That didn't work. This is after um, going for over 48 hours. A little tired looking. A little dirty. A little dirty. Okay. We, we look like Negroes. <laughs> I realized that I was so dirty at one point that um, I was using hand sanitizer to sanitize the grime on my <laughs> hands that wasn't coming off underneath my fingernails and everything. We're eating breakfast and then I'm going to go find a room and then we're going to go take a shower. Several. <laughs> Breakfast, lunch. We've got Gruyere, year, year, Switzerland cheese, loaf of bread, jar of garlic stuffed olives, 
a nice bottle of red, uh, some hummus, peach pie. My lemon tart thing just kind of got smashed at the bottom, apparently. Yeah, it's about a $24 meal. Yeah, it's a small portion here. That's like one day's budget. Not what you normally want to do while you're traveling, but it's my birthday. Down over that direction. There's a resort, and there's about, I don't know, I'd say 150 beach beds on the sand. Parasailing, like gliding and stuff like that. And then I look back the other direction, towards where we're staying, that's the town where everyone who doesn't uh, want to pay the middleman goes to stay. $4 a night for us, $50 a night for the resort people. And I mean, we have a minimal room, but I mean, you can get a really nice room for $10. To me, I guess it's just that people are so afraid of the unknown, that the only way they're willing to go, like, have a taste of it is if they don't actually have to put their foot in it. It's kind of like having a hand job instead of having sex. It is a huge headache getting here. And you had a guide. And I had a guide. The thing is, is that it's not unattainable. Your average person can go and travel and see the world for an affordable amount, relatively speaking. It's just, it's such an, an alien experience for most people in America that it's something that they don't even bother doing for fear of it. Tickets to India, when we went, they were high. 1200 bucks for a ticket. Once we're here, we are li living very well and very comfortably on $25 a day for two people. Currently, with the U.S. economy right now, it is cheaper for us to be here than for us to be in the U.S. I've seen, in the entire time I've been here so far, which is about a week and a half, three Americans. Three. Seen... And our country is the third most populous country in the world. And I've seen a ridiculous amount of Russians, some Israeli, uh, Germans, tons of Germans, I've even seen Mexicans. Huh. You know, there's no Americans. Americans are afraid, especially after the whole attacks in Mumbai. However, if you look at it statistically, in the Mumbai attacks, 200 people got killed. So your chance of dying from a terrorist attack in India are one in five million. I don't know if our math's exactly correct, but it's close. It's a lot. It would be like not going to California after 9-11. This is one side of Fagator Beach. This is where all the local Indians hang out. Generally speaking, if you're a white person and you go down there and you're in a bikini, you're going to get stared at because if you look very closely, all of them are very well dressed. Still not a bikini in sight. On the other hand, underwear is a very common bathing suit for the guys. And then you have the other side of Bagator Beach, which is where the tourists hang out. All the white people who want to go topless and wear g-string bikinis. And you do get Indians that go over that direction, but it's largely to gawk at the white tourists. I was hoping to get it on film, but he had his cock out aimed at the beach. This, this girl right there, that was the one that they were howling at. Uh, yeah, I know. So one of the things that has become really apparent as of late is that even though drugs are illegal, hashish is going to carry a 10-year prison sentence. They're readily available everywhere and it's barely enforced. Pretty much you walk around at night and um, you can get assaulted, uh, quote unquote, by as, as many as, you know, five to 10 drug dealers that are wanting to sell you hashish and much, much more. I don't usually do anything but the hashish. So for a five gram brick, I paid way too much. I paid about 700 rupees. The hashish has a hair in it. It's really, really poor quality, but it'll get you high. This is my last little nugget. I'm gonna have to go and find more today. Okay. 